talking about hacking your brain and many messages will appear between the lines so be careful to try to m figure out what we want to say so the talk started starts a long time ago in the year 1993 nobody took care at least to my knowledge about food you can see on the picture alcohol, the cider bottle in the tent. You see the meat, the salami. You also see coffee, and you see dairy products. So this was 1993. Nobody cared about this. Then four, four years later, uh, you also see the salami on the picture. And I think nobody didn't care either at this time. And so me. I drank lots of alcohol, we had big parties at those events and it was a great time. The CIA said there were the potentially 1,000 most dangerous people worldwide and maybe it was, <laughs> I don't know. So that's the introduction. Then I'm getting older, I'm getting ill. I get brain fog, which means the short time memory was reduced, so working on the computer, getting hard, read the documentation and try to uh, produce something useful was difficult for me, so at that time I missed OOM. So that's the reason for that. Then later on, uh, I getting really fat, so I had maybe 120 kilos, I think. So, but I didn't know the reason for all this stuff at that time. Then uh, I found a website, uh, urinale.org, where you can check your urine for pesticides. And I uh, attended to that test and paid a few bucks for testing my urine. And the result was I had 20 times more glyphosate in my urine then is a load in the drinking water in Germany. 20 times. So that was amazing. And I had no clue where it comes from and took me several years to find out what is going on. So the last thing which really started all my uh, investigation was gout. I was barely able to climb the stairs and I thought I must go to the hospital and get new knees inside my body for, for getting walk, could, so I could walk again. But uh, the solution was very simple. <laughs> it was very simple. At one time in holiday, I stopped eating meat. And after f two weeks of holiday, I recognized that my problems with my knees get somehow better, but very, very slow. And then I extended the period to fe four weeks, then I extended it to three months, and then I extended the period without eating meat to half a year. And after half a year, I had, didn't have any problems, nothing. And I could reproduce it uh, when I'm going to my sports club on Friday evenings. I drink uh, wheat beer and also eating sausages. And the day after, on Saturday, I had problems with my knees. And then that was for me the proof. So how do we go with the... Uh, oh, I do not know the word. <laughs> we just go on. So we, our goal is healing at first. Then we, we, we tell you something, what we did, been there, done that, and additionally, we got this. And this is why, we, why I want to talk to you on this. You want to say something? Yeah. Thanks. Yes, uh, there's, um, you might know Hippocrates. 
He said, let your remedies be your food and your food be your remedies. And I think that's a very important sentence because uh, we actually put something in our mouth we don't know. So um, we, we didn't make up our minds yet. So we, for me, that was a, um, was really uh, um, uh, initializing, because when, when I started thinking about food, what do I put into my mouth, that um, my mind became more clear. I also suffered on brain fog, which is really not nice. Uh, it took me for about four hours in the morning to wake up just just in the in my head yeah it's it's like every morning you, you wake up like uh, hello somebody here <laughs> yeah f physically i'm here but that's it yeah and uh, and then i started healing um, only with uh, changing my food habits. Yeah. So I have an example prepared. So this are actually all my examples. So I have to talk. Maybe Anke will take over one or two. So the overfight was really amazing because Anke showed up with a cleansing cure which will be discussed later, so it's mainly you eat raw food. And we did it for, uh, I think, three months. We did raw cleansing cure. And what it is, I will explain later. And I lost at amount six plus kilos per month. And it was not difficult to at all. The difficult part was the time management to prepare all the vegetables, but I have a nice picture for that also later. So that was, which is a big part of our talk, but we want to explain to you. The next one was the gout. I already explained I stopped eating pork meat and uh, it goes away uh, from time to time. Then the next is the brain fog. And that is a really amazing one. And I talked about the, the pesticides in my body. And this, uh, at some time, I changed all my, my uh, diary to organic food. So I hoped it gets less, the pesticides in my body get less. But that's not so easy. So I could, actually, I could reduce my pesticides in the body by 60%. And a main point, which I want to point out in this talk, is time. So time is on your side, but you must take your time. And it's, there are different times. So if you use drugs, they maybe uh, hit you in a few seconds. So if you take alcohol, it maybe takes half an hour or something like this, or, or the medicine, maybe one hour. And so there are different timetables, how long it takes to enter your body. And the overbite took me three months. It was a cleansing cure, though I lost 20 kilograms. The go go goat uh, needed six months. The brain fog needed one and a half year, but Anke has a method uh, uh, how you can reduce this time. And the pesticides in my body is an ongoing project I measured since six years, and I'm 60% off right now. So what's next? I think it explains for itself. The lights are on, but nowhere is home. I found this... Uh, slide in our company hanging around and, and make a picture of it. So we want to explain the, the cleansing, what you should do and what you should not do. That's not okay, <laughs> then obvious, first the obvious part, do not drink alcohol or at least reduce your alcohol consume. Uh, 
smoking might also not good. Uh, all the kind of drugs may be not so fine. So then we have the not obvious parts. This is uh, what you can't see, can't smell. The pesticides in every part of our life, I want to say, there are many, many tests who measure pesticides in the air. And the recent one is in Germany from the Umweltinstitut München. I couldn't talk about all those scientific stuff, but you could ask me later and I can point you where you can find the information. So, and uh, another point is the undeclared additives. So, um, in every process of processing food, there will be put stuff inside for some reason, and if it is not in there after the processing, you do not have to declare it, but there is something left. So, for example, in the beer, uh, there's microplastic, which is used for filtering, and there are an awful lot of examples for bread, bakery, for everything, for also the sugars and stuff. So be careful with processed food. Then are the envi environmental toxins, which is, uh, of course, if you're burning uh, petrol or the fine dust, and also the CO2. I mentioned the CO2 because if you walk, uh, work in a very small room for a long time on a computer and do not open the window, the CO2 level rises and you uh, yeah, you get foggy, you get sleepy, and so open the window while working a long time in a small room. Also, it's good to take a break at a certain amount of time. I usually take a break once an hour. That's, that is really helpful if you must con work concentrated. Maybe I give yeah. over to you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Um what to do? Uh, there are some unsuitable foods. Uh, I call them actually no foods because I don't eat them. Most of them, not anymore. Uh, so eggs, for example. I know you probably all love eggs <laughs> like I did in the past. But uh, eggs, uh, they feed viruses. So uh, that's why I thought by myself, okay, uh, I don't want to get some viruses, <laughs> uh, not that much in my body, so um, I, uh, I just leave them. Uh, but viruses, they cause this uh, silent inflammation as well. So you, people may get ill and don't recognize it. Yeah, just it's just sometimes it's just um, slightly. Yes. So you you don't have a feeling from being really ill. So that's the point. You 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 don't you don't notice it maybe, which I didn't. Um, I just thought the brain fog. I'm kind of it's, it's, uh, like normal because everybody or, or many people around me, they, yeah, they take time to wake up. That's, that's a problem. Yeah, da uh, dairy products, so no milk. Um, milk is for cows, that's it. <laughs> so. Soft drinks such as uh, cola, iced tea, and all that sweet sugar stuff. <laughs> I know you may like it, but it's uh, there's only one natural beverage, and that's called water. <laughs> and you can make it taste if it put some fruits in it, and that's fine. These are really natural flavors, so <laughs> you may like it. The, there's another reason, the sugar, there was an article in the oh, yeah. newspaper called Spectrum der Wissenschaft in Germany, which explains in detail the five or six different kinds of sugars and how they affect your body. And the short message is um, 
Sugar is transformed to fat, and you get fat, and also is a poison for the liver. You can read it, uh, the article is maybe three or four years old, mm. I think. Yeah. Uh, the point isn't really the sugar by itself, it's uh, the, the processed sugar, and uh, that, uh, that's like a poison to our body. Yeah, so, so that's fructose sugar. That as well. well when you, it's uh, every time the sugar is, um, uh, it's uh, isolated. Yeah, then then that becomes actually like poison. Yeah, then um, meat and fish. Um, meat is unfortunately or, or fish. Uh, the animals aren't. Free, they they are not treat well, so um, they may be full of um, medi medicines, uh, as a yes, as heavy metal, heavy metals, yeah. and uh, antibiotica. Yes, antibiotics, that's, that was a word I was missing, yeah. Um, then the genetic modified vegetables, uh, such as corn and soy, yeah, that that, uh, that also modifies our genetic, so there has an impact. Yeah. So the industrial produced oil, it's just because they produce a huge amount of oil, and that all gets heat, heat, heaten up. Um, and, and that makes uh, the oil, yeah, not, it makes it bad. Yeah. So the, the ingredients of the oil uh, are modified somehow by the heat. So if you can get your oil from a very small oil mill, which has small machines, that this might be much better than the industrial produced oil. So the, the reason is the, the heat while processing the nuts or the seeds. So also I would mention for all of this, the wonderful talk from the guy over there yesterday, I think it was, uh, which goes in detail for the bacteria in the, in the how it is called, list, list, oh, in, intestine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so, oh, how it goes on. Mm -hmm. Ah, we go to the Lansing Kur. I must yeah. give over to Anke again. Yeah. So, um, what do I do then? Um, in the morning, um, after I wake up, I drink some lemon juice. Uh, sorry, lemon water. So uh, I do the fresh juice, uh, a half lemon uh, for a half liter of water. Yeah, and that hydrates the body. Um, the lemon also helps to get uh, alkaline for for your body. That's very important because uh, all the bad stuff in our body don't like this alkaline environment. Yep. Yeah, then uh, we drink celery juice. Not, all, uh, not every day, but um, do like a cure for maybe for three weeks, four, five weeks or something like that. Uh, but you can drink it every morning, uh, a half liter of fresh... <laughs> uh, what kind of celery, <laughs> celery do you use? Celery juice. Celery, these uh, sticks. Those barbs or those... No, it is sticks. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it's inflammatory. <laughs> uh, Anti-inflammatory, sorry. <laughs> 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 of course. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Um, it strengthens the immune system, which I find it's very good. Ah, there are special cluster salts in the 
salary. And that is what, what it makes so good. Yeah, the next. Ah, the heavy metal detox smoothie. That's actually my favorite. <laughs> that's, um, that's important to get the metals out of our brain. Because um, the ingredients are very simple. Um, Is it tasty? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> um, blueberries, orange, banana, and then spirulina, dulce, and barley grass. And on top, the most important is um, coriander. Cilantro. Cilantro, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the cilantro takes the metals out, and all the other um, ingredients helps. To, um, to push it out of the body, yeah. Yeah, fruits a lot. Um, in the morning, yeah. So, um, you, you might notice I didn't mention any kind of bread or porridge or something like that. It's really raw food <laughs> that's based on fruits and uh, natural herbs. Yeah. Vegetables. You know, and vegetables. Yeah, uh, then 90% raw food for recovery. If you're really sick, uh, then you really need to uh, be 90% on raw food. Um, to keep the level, it's about 80% raw food. So that's actually that what our body needs to be healthy. So there's no processed food in, uh, especially not um, from tins and, and cans or... Uh, Stuff like that, yeah. You 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 normally store, yeah, so or cooked in with sugar. No no no, no fruits. Uh, you only need fresh fruits and fresh vegetable, and you you can cook it. It's not that problem, uh, but just do it by yourself. Yeah, so. Going out to to restaurant, that's um, always a little bit. Uh, I'm a bit careful of that because I never know what is in there, and uh, especially the herbs and the spices. Um, this uh, often it's a it's a mix of nobody knows what in it, so um, I rather leave that. For a while, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I or we prepared a few receipts for you. These are quite easy. Uh, I will show you. So this is a fruit salad. So it's really easy. Just take fruits and a few leaves. So there's. Uh, lemon bulb in it and nettle, which is both good for your brain. Mm -hmm. So and just cut fruits, put them together, you do not need any other ingredients. So then of course the hacker salad dressing, <laughs> which is very easy, take a cup of apple juice and put some lemon juice in and a um, small amount of oil. That's that's it. To any receipt, you can add salt and uh, pepper in an amount you like. But you will recognize the longer you eat on raw food, the less salt and the less oil you will use. So your taste changes. So one of my favorites is the second salad dressing uh, because you need the oil for your brain, especially the very good oil, uh, oil from the walnut or from hemp or from uh, cashew. 
this is very good oil for your brain. So eat lots of this, but not too much. So um, preparing a salad dressing without oil, this is my favorite. Take the nuts, put them two hours in the water, put all the ingredients in a mixer, and press a button for a few seconds, and you're gone. And this is perfect. It's really, really delicious. Then another uh, favorite of mine is the uh, raw food rice. The cauliflower, as well as the broccoli, is very good for your brain, both. And uh, you could actually eat the cauliflower raw. It's unbelievable, but it is the truth. Just take the cauliflower, take the with water soaked cashews, and a diary spoon of soy sauce, put it to the mixer, press a button for a second or two, and you are gone. And it's really, really amazing. Just try this one. It's unbelievable. And your favorite is <laughs> <laughs> sweet potatoes. Yeah, that, that's uh, actually really simple. Uh, an avocado, um, an on cut an onion, and, uh, and mash it, and cut some slice of sweet potato, and uh, just dip the sweet potato. That's, I like this recipe. So we might finish our talk with all that what is going between the lines. So if you try it out with the raw food, my problem was I have no time for preparing all the stuff. And I want to show you how, you, how I solved this. So if you work on a computer lots, you sometimes have boring meetings, take a knife, take your fruits, cut them, and you are gone. So you need no extra time. That's the solution. So easy, isn't it? Actually, this is my home working space in the camper for the corona pandemic. So now our last slide, but we have to say a lot about this. Because when I started the, the uh, raw food cleansing cure, I'm not used to eat food like this. I was hungry all the time, but I could eat all the time. That was an amazing thing. So I had up to seven meals in the early stage of the raw food cleansing. I was literally eating all the time. And the good thing about that is I had no cravings in the evening. Anybody here who eats chocolate in the evening or chips? Nobody. Oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no <laughs> so there's no cravings in the evening. It's really fantastic. You can't, can't believe it. Then uh, I actually mentioned in, in my body different types of incarnation while eating raw food. So my, my taste changes. And uh, I had, of course, I had setbacks and eat meat in between. But uh, these are like subsiding waves at the start, uh, it was often, and uh, later on it was less. So that's it's, uh, also hacking your brain. Your brain gets used to it, and uh, it is a new normality if you do it for a while. Then uh, the really fine stuff about this diary is there's no self-enforcement at any time. You could eat what you want unless it's not raw. No, other way. So if it is raw. And uh, if you maybe say you try it for one day or for two days and you, you continue voluntarily. And uh, do you want to take this point? Different okay. ways of saturation. So uh, you all may recognize if you have a goose for Christmas and it lies in your stomach like a stone. And that's exactly the feeling uh, when I eat meat right now. I love meat. I uh, eat from time to time, maybe twice a month. I eat cow or uh, what is this called? Ziege? Never mind. But goat. I, goat. But I feel it lies in my stomach like a stone. Oh. And also, yeah, that's not. not that's not the case if I use the fruit, so it's, uh, I like it better. Yeah. The next yeah. the next is uh, the change of taste. That was really amazing with the 
celery uh, juice we make, we prepare for ourselves. In the start, the celery juice doesn't, did not smell. It was, how it is called, bitter. It bitter. was bitter. But after a while, it got sweet. So after mm -hmm. two weeks of drinking celery juice, it got mm -hmm. sweet. So my taste changes. We use less salt and stuff like this. This is what I want to tell you between the lines. So it's, 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 everything is positive for your body, everything. Then you feel reborn. You could like, ah, ah, ah. so it's perfect. So not like, Ugh. so yeah. it's really, really good. So the next point is for sure yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the better skin. <laughs> yeah, I, I got some better skin. And that's, that was uh, what really amazes me. Uh, uh, when the first time before we start, uh, maybe Lars' skin was like a leather, <laughs> and now <laughs> it feels like skin. <laughs> so, so it's not that uh, rough anymore. So, and uh, acne, yeah, by the way, it disappeared. Just by eating. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I can't believe that. So we couldn't both believe it, that, and that's the reason why I'm here. Yeah. Why we are here and talk to you. <laughs> so, and the yeah. positive yeah. effect, which is the title of our talk, is what are the effects on your brain? You, if you are healthy and uh, if you are in perfect shape, you are more stable. You are stress resistant. Your brain cap ability improves, your mental stamina improves, so I could work the whole day if I take my breaks, that's, that's important, so take your breaks every hour, my, maybe five minutes, just stand up, walk around, go back to work, and you could work the whole day, with, which is very important sometimes on the computer, so you, you do not need the, uh, the, the uh, club mat or coffee in the night, just if you're sleepy, go to bed and work the next day, so and you can really work long, a long time. Then uh, also the, in the afternoon, you do not have this afternoon gap from all the heavy meals. That's important. So now we have a paper mm -hmm. with lots of add-ons because we have a few, few minutes left. Uh, I have a few right. points which are not on the slides. So the main the important uh, vitamins are C, E, B1, B6, and B12. And B12 is a vitamin which could not be produced in your body. Um, I think it's absorbed in the end part of the intestine. Intestinal but, tract. Yeah. Yeah. But um, there's something missing, so it, you can't really uh, uh, produce it by yourself. You must... Yeah, you, you, you need the, the B12. Uh, just eat natural food for the B12, uh, especially um, maybe you have an apple tree, go outside and pick the apple from the tree. And then there, there are these uh, mi microbes on, on the apple that uh, produces the B12. So also you have to, what is very good, are sprouts oh, for the magnesium, for the zinc, and for the uh, potassium, which is also very good for your brain. So the, for example, wheat sprouts is very healthy. Then for the brain, you could simply search on the search engine of your uh, preferences for brain food. You will find something uh, natural rice is actually very good, and nuts, I told you already, broccoli, uh, nettle, lemon ba balm, and a few others. Baldrian is also good, and ginkgo, and there are many, many different vegetables, which also yeah. all fruits, of course. So, and that brings us to our end. You have mm, something? Yeah. And we thank for your audience. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you very much. Can you turn this? Yes, thank you. Well done. Thank First you. time.
I mean, wow, very good. Um, we have a couple of minutes left for some questions, and I see one person standing up there, too. Yeah. So please uh, state your question, short and stout. Thanks for your very personal story. Um, there's a lot of research backing exactly the sort of things you've done. Well, almost exactly. There are a few differences, if you don't mind me mentioning them. But um, good places to turn for scientific information about this will be nutritionfacts.org and Physical Commission uh, Committee for Responsible Medicine, PCRM.org, um, the latter being more for, for, for simpler people and the fir first nutrition facts are more for nerdy uh, information about research papers. They're excellent sources of uh, information. They do warn much more about B12 than you do. Um, well, they say don't mess around with it, you will get serious problems and you will be too late recovering from that. So. Um, the advice picking it from an apple tree but is definitely disadvised by them. So I want to add that. Um, the raw food is not so strongly emphasized in the, these, uh, but I haven't seen research. Can you, can you get to the that. question? Oh, um, sorry, no, I was, I was commenting. I was just adding, adding a few things that I okay. had encountered. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead. Um, thanks for the talk. Um, I was wondering, uh, why is the oil from the, um, the small oil mill better? That's the reason is the heat. The, 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 the machines for pressing the nuts or the seeds do not get so hot. And if oil gets hot, some of the ingredients get lost. The very important, I do not know the English word, it's omega-3 and omega-6. Uh, Amino, uh, in German is amino, so I think they got somehow broken up or something like that. And that's the mm. reason why you should use the small oil mills or even better, just take the nuts or the seeds uh, directly. Okay. And is organic meat allowed? Of course. It's yeah. Organic <laughs> meat, organic <laughs> means n nothing, uh, uh, yeah. uh, no pesticides. No, uh, yeah, yeah. antibacterial. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, there, there's one thing about the meat. You can have meat, that's not a problem. Ah, but meat. if you uh, do a cleansing, then you should leave it. Yeah? Because uh, that stops the cleansing. Okay. Actually, um, uh, it's the fat and it's the... Um, uh, protein the that, that stops, the protein stops the cleansing. I misunderstood the question. <laughs> So, uh, but, yeah. Yeah, because, because in, you mentioned in, in your list, uh, intestine, you have different kind of bacteria, and uh, sometimes the one is more, sometimes the other is more. And if you make raw food, then it goes like this. And if you meat, eat meat, then it goes like that. So it's not in balance anymore. And you need you need the good bacteria, which are good for your yeah. for your okay. health. That's Thanks. the reason. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. I think we still have time for, let's say, one or two more short questions. Yes. I've also one on my card, so if nobody shows up, I have another question. So. Yeah, thanks again for your talk. Um, could you say something about cheese? So I love cheese, especially uh, French I, made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's Thank the same. Thank you for that one. <laughs> cheese, that's the same like meat. So uh, uh, you, you shouldn't do it. Um, but when you when you're really sick, uh, just leave it for a while. At Not least. too bad. Yeah. I, I yeah, yes, I, I really know. I I, lo I love to eat cheese. From I, I love to eat cheese too. <laughs> I I take the yeah. the organic cheese from mm. the small farms and mm -hmm. eat it sometimes, like the meat mm -hmm. once or twice a month. Mm -hmm. So I I, oh. I like it very much. I can't mm -hmm. get uh, can't stop eating this mm -hmm. also, but it's not so good. So that, but, go, but that goes for any milk products so or ev everything with, with milk? Yeah, it's a yeah, dairy actually, product. Yeah. So if yeah. you have, for example, no. the, the yogurt or something, there's often put in fructose, a glucose syrup inside, and it's really not good uh, for many reasons. Mm. Okay, uh, thanks again for your insights. So that was great. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, okay, what more? Yeah. Go yeah. For it. Um, yeah, sometimes uh, you, you mentioned cor uh, coriander. Yeah. And um, I was wondering what's your uh, stance uh, about um, 
uh, getting homeopathic, um, like where it's really concentrated yeah, uh, no. to speed things up? Is, is mm. that possible? Do you do no. that? or? No, it's about the fresh cilantro. Okay. And there, there are all the ingredients, they take the metals out of the brain. But in general, uh, about the whole story, do you, uh, can you speed things up by taking uh, ingredients that are really concentrated? Because sometimes you hear the argument that uh, you can eat that food, but there's really a little um, of that mm, ingredient in it. The, um I think it depends on what it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, you you can uh, supplement. You, yeah, that's yeah. okay. That that will speed it up. Yeah. But um, I, I I have no experience with all the other stuff. So. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. So but but it, it's uh, actually all about the food. So how do you, do you make it with food? Because. Um, I experience, I go out uh, into, uh, into the wood and, uh, yeah, and, and pack my stuff and, okay, uh, what do I need? Uh, homeopathic, all my bottles, you know, <laughs> just a hundred of bottles, uh, I don't want to take to the wood. So uh, the solution, uh, just, just heal myself with food. So that was the, yeah. uh, the background. Yeah, so, I, I mention yeah. it because sometimes when I go to a homeopathic store, yeah. they, they, I say I eat a lot of um, blueberries yeah. and to, you know, to accomplish this. Yeah. And then they say, oh, there's a little, there's so little in it, you have to eat like three kilograms or, of blueberries each day. So take this. Of course, they are biased because they want to sell it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do it, do it yeah. for a long time and you need smaller <laughs> yeah. amounts. That's, yeah. that's yeah. Is what we recognized. Also, um, I'm not scientific at this point. So uh, many of the poisons go into the fat of your body. Mm -hmm. So if you get rid of the fat, you get rid of the poison in your body. So that's exactly the amount. Uh, uh, I maybe lost 60% of my fat and so I lost 60% of my my po of the poison in my, my body. Yep. So and so it's not, not short term. Short term you can do if you maybe drink a tea, I have forgot something, my absolute favorite. It's a green art tea. It's just a tea you cook for twenty minutes, it's very delicious and if you drink it you are the all all day very relaxed and it's very healthy. And so this is short term food and long-term food. For example, the blueberries you eat for a longer time. Yeah, yeah. It's not, yes. yeah. not so if you take 10 kilos of blueberries <laughs> in one week that you are... <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> thank you. Also, thank you so much. Time is up. You made it. One uh, bucket list item done. <laughs> Talk on the stage. Very well done. Uh, thank them again with a warm applause. <laughs>